Devising our future means rejecting what we think we know, because knowledge, like a child who knows not to touch the fire because it causes harm, is usually based in fear. When considering futures, I consider that a future is multivalent, as is this present, as is our collective past. We arts workers have the agency and power to dismantle the fossil fuel industry's social license to operate. The decay we feel for institutions should not be feared. Death is natural, but where you find injustice, feed it justice. Where you find theft, feed it restoration. Where you find apathy and hurt and silence, feed passion and healing and voice. I believe the future of this field won't have a grand reopening or feeling of we made it. Rather, one day, we'll realize our shoulders aren't raised to our ears anymore. Our breath won't be caged in our ribs and we will be contributing to and existing in a culture of plenty and abundance. From my perspective, the decolonized future is very clear. All of the work has already been done. It has been advocated for. It's just time to implement. We as deaf people have to look at the mainstream culture and understand their principles are not the principles we follow as BIPOC, deaf, and hard of hearing community. I had to look within myself and decide what type of leader I am or wanted to be. 